can get it, you can get it, you can get it. I got community dig. That mean you can get it, and that mean you can get it, and that mean you can get it. I got community dig. And that mean you can get it, and that mean you can get it, and that mean you can get it. I have community D. Me and my man's in them. I don't know no synonyms, but I fucked her antonym. Cause I got that CCD. That's clean community D. I just got tested for shit. It can back negative. My dick on quick lit. My dick on plenty of fit. I got that late night tender rice rice. You wanna fuck me and split? My dick got molly. Everyone getting accepted. Like my dick community college. Get my shit for everybody. Cause I got community D. You can get it. 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 I got community D. You can get it. 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 I got community D. That mean you can get it. And that mean you can get it. And that mean you Oh, oh God, help us. All right. I I'm you got the gist of it. You can get it. You got the gist of it. I'll just all right. So what's going on here? What are your thoughts of this madness? Let me just give my intros. I'm Tanya TKO. I'm a self-love specialist on TanyaTKO.com, and I have been dubbed a relationship expert by Fox and NBC. On this channel, we use viral content as teachable moments for love, self-love in our own lives and how it relates to either self-loving or self-abusing through relationships. So someone sent me this video. Look, I need you, I need you all to listen. I need your point of view. What can I say about this? Of course, this is satire. Of course, this is people, uh, you know, attempting to take the power back into their hands. My issue is that they look so low budget. They got crumpled up cardboard. Look at he's twerking. Look at these fools. And they're so proud. You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of, right? This reminds me of the Bucks. During 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 the enslavement period here in the United States, it reminds me of the bucks. You know how black men were used as breeding bucks, and they were just senseless beasts and animals that nobody really had any true regard for, um, except for their ability to be able to produce more n words to enslave. Let me just take this out of my ear. I want I want to hear your thoughts on this. Because, uh, you know, I remember when they, you know, they came out with the song Tatiana and then, you know, people were trying to take the word thought back and take power and control. And you hear people calling themselves a thought and calling themselves Tatiana and they on the whole stroll and all this other stuff. Right. You know, look, you all see my book back there, the book of affirmation, self-love. You know that I am a certified clinical hypnotherapist and words matter. These men are professing out loud that they are community peen, they're community penis. They're really just giving their penis willy nilly around the, the way filet and all oh, this, all this, all well. this. I just, I don't know what to say about this. I, I just, I want to hear. Alexis is saying, no shade though. Some women respond to this and that's why they keep doing it. So yes, the women responding to it that is making grown men put some crumpled up cardboard on themselves, wearing underwear and running down the street talking about their community penis, right? Of course, it's the women's fault. That's right, blame the women's. Let's blame them. Yes, of course, the women respond to it. So that's why big bad men are out there doing it because the women's. All right, Bree says, are you going to discuss the predisposition of promiscuity based on breeding farms of enslaved community peen use the, oh my goodness, this is what we were just talking about. Yes, yeah, through his mother and sisters where the term mother effort comes from. So, you know, it's like, yeah, we just finished talking about that, but Bree, feel, feel free to add more of your comment in the comment section because this is, look, <sighs> <sighs> we don't see them bragging about having the 401ks and having the, 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 the supply chain control of our food sources. We don't see them bragging about having a foothold on true investment in the community or in this country, in our families. We don't really see that. We don't see pride of ownership. We don't see investing in assets. We don't see people, you know, bigging up all of those other things that really 
show that a person is a leader in a community. Instead, we have them in some crumpled up cardboard singing some anthem about how they are community peen or community. You can get it. You can get it. He's having intercourse with people, aunts, and like some of us are saying, you know, keeping the peen in the family. You know, it's like, I just, <laughs> I just. I think it's embarrassing, honestly. There's a part, there's two different parts of me. There's part of me that gets it, okay, you wanna take an insult and turn it into something hot. Black people are so used to doing that. We take nothing and turn it into something or we take something and we flip it back around. However, what ends up happening is we continue to perpetuate that very thing that we as God incarnate is manifesting through the power of our words. I remember, I remember I went I went to this woman's retreat, right? Black woman, she had a retreat. I went to her retreat. And on the retreat, you know, she was talking about the dark feminine energy and all this stuff, you know, the stuff you want to hear about. Oh, yes, oh, dark mother, the dark energy, this, that, and the other. And then she called herself Sophista Ratchet. That's what she called herself. And as we were driving to different places, she put on all of this low vibrational music, this trap music, and all of this other stuff. And I felt I felt like an oddball because I'm sitting there in the back and I'm just like, I cannot relate to this. And she had on all this music and they were like, eh, eh, eh. and the, the, all these women who who uh, who vibe with this was all around pumping up their wrists and all of this toxic music. And I was like thinking as, as a hypnotherapist, I was like, wow, you know, these women are in a state of induced, of induced trance. And while they are in this state, they are allowing these words to wash over them. And the same woman that was talking about dark energy and spells and all this other stuff was now listening to this low vibrating trap music. And I was like, can you not realize that this music is speaking spells over you inside of the whole entire car? And you got people in a state of jubilation allowing these words to wash over them. I remember, cause you know, like, look, we're in the pandemic right now. And my niece does these shows for us, right? These dancing shows, you know how children are. And one of her dancing shows, she decided, I guess, to branch outside of the Disney music or, or that she that she's used to playing for us. And one of the songs that she was playing started talking about somebody being some freak and the, the, the bend on some something. I said, oh, no, no, no. I said, well, this, yeah. I said, this has got, no. So some child is now dancing to some music with the word freaking. And I'm like, no. No, because this starts very early on. You start listening to stuff and start thinking that the words don't matter and you start letting it penetrate through you and you're like, oh, it's just the beat. Meanwhile, the beat is riling you up into trance and the words are pen permeating. You're over there bending over while people calling you all types of stuff. And you don't realize that this is becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. So now these men in their half naked dumb is running around partially dressed, looking like some people who just escaped from the auction block. You heard me, I said it. They look like somebody just escaped from the auction block, no goddamn clothes on, in the middle of the road, running and talking about how their penis is for anyone who wants it. Where is the self-love? Where is the self-value, the pride and self? Where is all of that? It's like, so they've taken these spells that have been spoken over them. They've taken the, 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 the programming that has been implanted and embedded into them. And they've taken ownership of it and made it their own so much so that they're like, this is what I'm worth. Yeah, 70% of children born out of wedlock. Net family net worth of eleven thousand dollars. We got people who just low education rate, high incarceration rate, and a, a black person is killed by the police every twenty something hours here in this country. A black woman is murdered every nineteen hours by the hands of a man, and it's so it's like. We have all of these issues going on in our community. We have up to 40% of African-American girls being assaulted 
intimately assaulted before the age of 18. And so it's like we have all of these problems. And so the thing that you want to sing about is the, it's just, I just, I can't. I just, I need to hear your thoughts. I need to hear your thoughts. It's like we have these, we have these pathologies in our community and the people who are supposed to be leaders who are always talking about, oh, I'm leaders, respect me, ain't I? I'm just the, are the ones who are out here doing this, this, this foolery. Who do we turn to? Who are the people that are providing the structure? It's like, and then that, like that young lady said, oh, it's the women. It's like we are constantly talking with forked tongue out of two sides of our heads. On the one hand, we're like, oh, men are these great leaders, but oh, it's the women's fault. When stuff hits the fan, when things aren't going right, it's the women. So are men the leaders? Are women the leaders? Because if women the leaders, then that means that we need to change a lot of structures going on. I'm going to read some of your comments and let's let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. So we have Moon who's saying, it's like being a decent person is frowned upon in our community. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Look, Alexis is coming back. She's saying, I wasn't blaming women at all. I'm a lesbian, so I do things to impress women. So if I want a certain type of woman, I present myself in a certain way is all I was saying. Girl, listen, you are confusing yourself with a man, right? So we're talking about leaders of the community, but it's like we are constantly putting women in the position of absorbing the fault for what the leaders are not doing. So if you choose to get a particular type of woman, look, you are still a woman at the end of the day. You're still a woman. <laughs> Ladaiti is saying women are the leaders. LOL, a woman shall compass a man. I don't really know what compass. I don't know what this is meaning that we're talking about right now. Or is saying leading blacks aren't black leaders. Dick Gregory at the Black State of the Union. Leading Blacks aren't Black leaders. I need more expounding on that. And Leah is saying somebody who's talking about to, not to twerk in a restaurant. Honey, you got to send me these clips. I don't be on the internet like that. Every video that I make, I make because you all send them to me. I don't be out there like, oh, that's, oh, you said, no, you all let me know what you're interested in. And if enough people send it to me, I make the video. So send it to me. I already gave you all instructions. Come to my website, click on contact. So yeah, I want to hear, I want to hear the rest of your thoughts uh, about this. So Lala is saying makes our natural leaders, maybe she's saying males are our natural leaders, but when they fall out of line, women take charge. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Help me. Prod is saying women played the prostitute right out of slavery. It's not surprising 400 years later that Cardi B is woman of the year. Um, I, I, there's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack because we're confusing Cardi B with the same type of women who endured enslavement. If anything, Cardi B has gotten and has been exalted to the position that she's in because of colorism. And because she is constantly receiving that reinforcement of her everlasting cleanliness and purity with her phenotypic alignment with the oppressor. So let's not, so the, you, you, you need to go and perhaps buff up on your research or something and look into colorism, look into, into racism, look into, into these things and, and, and come back again, come back again, come educate yourself and come back because we are, cause you know, it's like people love to do stuff like that. And, you know, there are, there are several football players who have come out and have been guilty of doing things like that. They chase after the Euro phenotype. They chase after that. And then when they get burned and things go wrong, then all of a sudden they're like, oh, this is, 
This is the, the black woman doing this and the black on it. You can't trust the baby mama, the black on it. Yeah, I mean, you all have seen the, you've seen the videos before in the past. This is what they do. This is what they do. So now, now that she's busting open her wife, now all of a sudden we're going to be like, oh, she's like the, the women who were, who were enslaved. No, if anything, she would have been, she would have been in the, in the house. She would have been queen of the of, of the others queen of the brothel demanding the highest price or receiving the highest price and being the most coveted even when i was in nigeria there was this caucasoid female with implants in her dairy ear when she bent over it looked like a knee like she had two knees back there right and they it just to me i just was like ugh. but when she bunked over in that club right there were men who came from club wide throwing all of their dollars on her, so much so that when the Negroid women came out after her, they didn't have any more money to throw down. So it's like we exalt a certain phenotype and then when worse comes to worse, then we like, oh, these, these black bees. Meanwhile, listen, we haven't had a superstar female diva in this country who has been darker than a brown paper bag in 20, 30 years. I look, when was the last one we had? Uh, Kelly Rowland is trying to do some things now, but she's coming out with the incantations of, of Beyonce coming out. You remember she, she just did some song where now she's, now it's cool to have Afro beats and she's, she's recreating Fela Kute in her music and she's coming out with the Beyonce incantation. And I'm just like, come on. I mean, she's trying and she's, but we, we already know we have our biases in this country. So let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, the comments is getting vicious now. So see me is saying before that troll talks about black women being prostitutes, he needs to figure out why he's comfortable being dominated by another group of men and nesting in their community. Lord, I need to get out of here. No, listen, on that note, listen, we need to pull out. <laughs> listen, there's a danger, danger, man overboard. Listen. We, we need to we need to get on now. It's time to get it's time to get vicious out there. Listen. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Okay. All right. Listen, I, I'm I'm gonna allow you all to continue talking in the comments. What do you think about this? I didn't really have much of a comment about this besides it's embarrassing. But you know, it's like a man's body doesn't have as much worth as a woman's body, and so we the the male form is constantly devalued. And unfortunately, when it comes to black men, it's even further devalued where he has now aligned himself with his main worth being wrapped around his his genital member. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to send me other videos to react to. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos. So make sure you're on the Tanya TKO live page on YouTube. If you want to participate in the live discussion, like the comments I've been putting up and you can also just subscribe to me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, Facebook and be able to get the videos that are uploaded after the fact. All right. Go out there and love one another, but most importantly, what? Love yourself, love yourself. And part of loving yourself is questioning your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? Everything negative that's said about you does not need the I am statement put on top of it. Because I am are the most powerful words known to, to, to human beings because we are God incarnate. We are powerful creators. And when we say I am, we become that which is stated after the I am. We profess that. This is why, look, my book of Affirmation Self-Love, it is sold out worldwide right now. And we are working on getting new stock. It's beautiful, beautifully illustrated, colorful book that helps you meditate and 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 talk about and, and, and just rewrite the affirmations and your I am statements and allow you to step into that power. It's a powerful book. Go read the testimonials, the powerful book that changes your life. It changes your life. And for those of you who have already gotten the book, make sure that you leave a review on Amazon. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your comments in terms of what you all think about this video. I want to hear what you all think. I think it's embarrassing. I think it's sad. I think that not everything that is said about us 
needs to be repeated into an I am statement and attempt to become or take ownership of or try to switch around the lowest form of, of insults and degradation that other people put on us to be like, oh, I'm okay because I can take your insult and now turn myself into that which you insulted me to be. I mean, that's that doesn't really seem, it seems like the joke is on you because we got ourselves calling ourselves all types of bitches, all types of hoes, niggas, all types of, all of these, we don't, we don't strive for excellence in our community. We laugh at people who are studious and we discourage excellence in one another. I mean, the joke is on you. Who was the joke on? They're saying these insults and you're turning around like, yeah, I'm that. You letting people speak spells over you, listening to music that's implanting and speaking spells over you. It's like, I just... Oh, I, I just, I, I want to hear your, your thoughts on it. Let's, let's raise our vibration. Tanya TKO and I am out. Let me say goodbye to everyone. Peace. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up the video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified of new videos. Leave a comment below, share the video and come over to tanyatko.com to subscribe to my personal mailing list and drop me a message of a viral story that you'd like for me to cover. See you on the other side. Peace.